So in this video, we are graphing an exponential function and its asymptote. And we have can get any of the three forms where there's a negative in the exponent, a negative uh, coefficient, or both, the negative coefficient and a negative exponent. And so I do want to have examples of all three so you can see what's going on in each of these three cases. So the directions do say graph the exponential function, plot five points this time, um, and also draw the asymptote. Then click on the graph of function button, okay? So here we want five. So I just use a standard negative two to two. Um, basically you have zero and you have two points on the left and then two points on the right in the number line. So I plug each of these values in here, but notice you're plugging a negative into, um, this is not written right, but the problem had a negative exponent and you're plugging in a negative two exponent, okay? Which means that this is actually, um, these actually, these values are wrong because this is what happens when you do things late, late at night. <laughs> when your mind is exhausted. So you had a negative here, but then you also have a negative for the X value. So what's happening is, is that you're ending up with one third, negative and a negative will be a positive exponent. So you actually end up with one over nine. Similarly, when I plug in negative one, we have a negative there times the negative one, which means I'm gonna end up with one third to the positive one power, which is going to end up being one third. So these y values are a little bit backwards. But we'll keep working on it. So then we get one ninth here, we get one third there. Um, what, uh, it doesn't matter whether there's a negative here or not, it's still to the zero power and one third to the zero power is one. Now here, this would be one third to the negative one which means that the fraction flips over and then the exponent becomes a um, positive one, which means the result is one third here. I'm sorry, it flips over. So it should be three over one and three over one to the power one is just three over one or just three. Now here we should have a negative two exponent, but then the negative exponent will make the fraction flip over so become positive exponent, and then three, uh, three squared is equal to nine. Now you could type all of these expressions in your calculator just as they are, and you will get these exact same uh, y values, okay? So what's happening here is that these are actually the wrong um, points. So I should have had negative two and negative one ninth, then negative one and one third, then zero and one, and then one and three, and then two and nine. And so then our graph should have been going in this direction. There we go. Now that makes more sense. Now, again, you're not adding or subtracting a constant on the side. So it's not shifting up or down, which means the horizontal asymptote is still at y equals zero. So once you draw that horizontal asymptote, you draw the five points that we just found, you click, then click on the graph of function button, and it should dra draw this in there for you, and then you can get it marked correct. Now let's see the second example, because the second example is what happens if there's a negative in the front, okay? So now we have a negative here. So when the negative is there, two thirds, and then the exponent is becoming negative two. I typed this in the calculator and it did give me negative nine fourths. Here, the negative is in the front. Again, your exponent is now negative one. I typed that in the calculator, it gave me this, and so on and so forth. So then I have all of these values here, okay? And that is an error, it should be 0.25. There we go. Um, and so then I just, graphed all those five points. Again, you're not adding or subtracting a number here on the side to make an up or down shift. So the horizontal asymptote stays at y equals zero. Similarly, for this problem here, you've got a negative in both locations. So you gotta be very, very careful. You have a negative in the front, the five eighths, this negative, and then you're plugging in a negative two. So I typed this whole thing in the calculator. I typed in 
negative parentheses fraction five over eight, close the parentheses, raise it to a negative, and I'm going to plug in negative two. And when you do that, it did give me negative 25 over 64. Okay. Now I like to change them to decimals just so that I can have an idea of where they are on the graph. In Alex, all you have to do for all of these that have little decimals, um, all you have to do is click the little icon that looks something like this. And it has like a little X marked. And when you click that, it'll allow you to type in the coordinates. And there's where you can type the fractions in the Y value if you need to. Okay. You don't want to be typing in decimals that are rounded. You want to be typing in the exact values, which is usually the fraction versions. Okay. Once you do that and you click plot, right, then it will put the point exactly where you want it to be put. Okay. So you're not having to try to guess, like, is this negative 25 over 64? Is this negative 1 eighth? You know what I mean? So on and so forth. You can uh, use this icon to just plot it exactly. Um, so same thing, I just calculated all these values. I use this button, excuse me, to type in every single one of these points, except for that one. That's the only one I could probably do by myself. And I use the fraction versions when I typed in my, my points here. And then they plotted all the points. I grasped the horizontal asymptote, and then I hit grab a function button, and then submitted the answer.